At first alert update from Crandon, where a very emotional public meeting took place tonight. School officials saying tonight they aren't sure what sickened 39 people last month, but it was not carbon monoxide. Mm, the district resumes classes tomorrow. Students head back to class for the first time since March 14th and said after that incident that carbon monoxide from a furnace issue was the cause of those illnesses. In a first alert update, Jason Zimmerman learned the district walking back that explanation and people are concerned. This was a highly charged meeting as people expressed concern over the building's safety. District officials also walking back previous statements that it was a mechanical issue tied to a furnace that likely caused a widespread illness. In a packed meeting inside the school auditorium, people Monday night demanding answers. The day before school is about to resume. So you're sending students and teachers back into the school tomorrow who are anxious, who are scared, who are I have spoke to them who have cried to me and said, Arla, I don't know how I'm going to walk back into that building next week and face my students. Among those addressing the school board was a teacher's aide taken to the hospital. My blood pressure was going to explode. Um, my, my heart race was like I was going to have a heart attack. Something was on me, something made this happen. District officials also tried to dispel rumors saying there's no evidence that illegal drugs contributed to the incident and none have been found on the property despite a search. There's also no evidence of tampering with any of the ventilation systems within the building. All these people went to the hospital, we have no answers. I don't know what happened and we're not doctors. If you're looking for answers, we can't give you specifics right now, but I can tell you that something happened but it, I think it's being blown far out of proportion than it actually was. Since the incident, the district says the building has undergone a thorough cleaning with carbon monoxide detectors added. I would not have your children come back tomorrow if I didn't think this building was safe. We're told extra counselors will be on hand Tuesday morning and plan to visit every single classroom. Reporting in Crandon, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News.